Who cares? No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. And yet he simply turned himself in, even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Damn it! Now, everyone! This is it. Very good. No nice going. All right. Shiro finally confessed! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there is a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. 
Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. Now what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too. By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive. Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party. Wow. Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> and that's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hey, Makoto, there's something we forgot to t Oh. What's wrong? Hello? I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. Do you wish not to stand out? You had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, Upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? <sighs> I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Damn it! I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really... was out of no- This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion. But no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. 
You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Ah, you're back. possible. Back. 
on you. Hey! That's incredible! No! Ridiculous. This new ally you gained was Makoto? Just tell me the truth! Makoto... That's preposterous! If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Now that I think about it... She did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Did Kanashiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. But why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? Then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou it shall become the wings of rebellion that break it with the birth of the judgment persona. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. I stand corrected. It was they who targeted your group first, wasn't it? The identity of your opponent is this. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right? Not cute. 
That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? It'll do, but it's not it. Okay, I'll be right over. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving the store to you. Lock up for me if I don't come back. I owe you one. <laughs> what a handful. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Ah, uh, Madorame, was it? They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. Well, that may be true, but... Don't you think so, too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? See, even he says that they're doing good. Oh my, look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. Yes, I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public's support of them either. There's also the danger of the Metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, to think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, I'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a few people are entitled to change the world. Like you, future Prime Minister. for finals why am I here too you're one of us now so of course you got to help us oh I'll hold you to that want to see you get to the higher test scores let's leave those guys be <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here but what is this place the storekeeper doesn't seem to be around it's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. That's... that's terrible. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same, too. I mean, <laughs> it's not as bad as this guy's, though. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me! I know, I know. We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? That's a secret. Ah, there's someone like that. 
You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exam? Not really. It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I I'm just joking. Please teach us. Hmm, what was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Duh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm gonna use it in the future. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Ah, uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? <sighs> Why don't we take a break? And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws. Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass! Why the hell are we being treated as the bad guys? Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. We just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. Wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me! The celebration party! Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. The last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Hmm? A buffet? Hmm, where would be good? Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? <laughs> that sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? Doesn't a fireworks festival sound good? I, you think so too. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Yes, ma'am.
Good morning. Tragic.
Hey, we're all here. much bigger is this place gonna get? Yo, Mona, can't you turn into some kind of high-powered radar or something? We'd know how deep it goes if you could. That's impossible. Hmm. It would be dangerous to wander blindly. We simply do not have enough information. Just driving around won't likely do us any good either. Yeah, but... The path keeps going forward. We'll reach the depths eventually, I think. That again. I should write something. the difference in strength in that fight. Work. 
work here. The enemy is weak, but don't relax. Persona! you drove on it because you liked it. Prepare yourself. My 
My defense is low right now. Let's go. What are you Wait, gonna do? Your Sona. defenses are down. Be careful.
like to go to the supermarket with me sometime? They have a great sample kiosk. What kind of invitation is that? Clue is pretty boring. victory. There's a treasure chest. Get used to it. I think it suits you. Especially the whip.
felt the difference in strength in that fight. I've never even touched a whip before now. Well... going. Victory is ours. A spectacular victory. All right.
Should I draw something on the body? You do that and you're not getting in next time! You'd like to read the compendium? You want to read? Are you sure? Time for some rehab. Do you need something? You wish to perform an act? Let us begin the search. them up. Excessive power only leads to destruction. inmate. It will receive some new power. Now for a rebirth.
finished for now? You'd like to read the compendium? Read here. This persona? This pers- You'll withdraw this persona? Then accept this persona. Time for some let's execute- Now choose! Let us begin the search. Change your mind? Are you finished? It is time, inmate. Aren't the Phantom Thieves amazing? My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. Quiet down. Do you know the answer?
go. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. See ya. Ah, you're back.
Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, we can do this. Let's get started. That doesn't look like it'll work. Wait! 
I get you.
All right. Everyone. You. I shall ask you again another time. Ah, uh, 
it's so hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I've got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we... getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Ratio of guys to girls is off, but uh, we can do something about that later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, no, that, that, that's. You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty! Like you need help? Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. Festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? What are you, Moss? I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home.
so you won't tell me, no matter what. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to... Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet! It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? I'm the one asking you. Don't return a question with another question. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime.
Tell me. Ugh, no way. Yep, yep. Okay, quiet down.
Shall we go? Did you notice this?
you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form, hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief.
phone was buzzing earlier. Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Shouldn't you respond to it? Hmm? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat box. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them, that is... Only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? with a big group. Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. 
The student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh, dear.
Come on. Real? We're gonna get reported if we don't do this. Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. Calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. I'll check the school's roster, just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks 
like it's a hit.
okay. Doesn't look like it'll work. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off. What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. <laughs> Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off! <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? This doesn't involve you. That's enough! Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Mm. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so? Our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the Chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? Person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. 
Try messaging him about it. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it. Okay. I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Just at this. Oh, 